everybody and welcome to Hello Beauty with You. Uh, for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Jazzy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I thought I would make a video all about my journey to Japan and things that I wish I had known as a vegan before I came here. So there is so much that I wish I knew and I feel like there's a lot of things online that you can get but I kind of just wanted to consolidate everything so that um, so that I can maybe help someone whether you are coming to Japan to visit or coming to live I really think that these tips are useful and essential for you to come and have a easier time being a vegan as Japan uh, easier time being a vegan in Japan. Now, unlike being in England, where I come from, uh, which is a very easy place to be vegan, you can literally go into any shop or um, any kind of restaurant and get what you need. You can like adjust the menu, and there's usually options most of the time anyway. So coming to Japan was quite different and I'm not saying it's impossible to be vegan because it's really not um, and as time goes by it does get so much easier because you know where to shop and etc etc but um, when I first <clears throat> when I first moved here sorry I've got a bit of a sore throat at the moment when I first moved here it was quite overwhelming because I didn't really know that much because I didn't research as much as I should have um, but yeah, so this is what I've learned, and I hope that it helps you. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna say, uh, kind of leading off from what I just said, is to really research before you come out, because there is just a lot to know. Sorry, there's um, people doing recycling outside. There's a lot you need to know about, um, you know, where to shop, for one thing, and what to look out for. Um, when I first moved here, I had no idea how to read Japanese, and to be honest, I don't really know how to read Japanese yet either. Um, but we'll move on to that later as well. But it's really important to know what you're looking out for when you are reading ingredients. And also, if you're going to places to eat, it's really useful to actually know where it's vegan. For example, when I first came to Japan in November for two and a half weeks, I went to Disneyland, uh, Dis yeah, Disneyland Resort in Tokyo, and uh, luckily we did some research on the internet and we found out that you can have the curry in Disneyland as long as you remove the egg. So uh, if we did not um, research it before, we probably wouldn't have eaten <laughs> at Disneyland because there just was not really an obvious um, option. I think in Disney Sea there is quite a few more vegan options. I have yet to check that out. Oh, oh, also, if there is something that I do not mention in this video, please feel free to message me on Instagram. Like, I absolutely love hearing from you. If it's um, vegan related, lifestyle related, please get in touch. Um, as I say, if there's something I haven't mentioned in this video, please get in touch and ask me, and I will do my best to enlighten you on whatever that is so yeah um yeah definitely research restaurants and things like that before you come out that leads me on to my second point is to get the happy cow app the happy cow app is so good because you can use it anywhere in the world i used it when i went to berlin um i use it in the uk and um, it's great in Japan as well because it has so many um, lists of restaurants and places where you can eat and they have like vegan options and vegetarian options right there. So uh, you can get it on your laptop free and I think the app is £2.99. So you can go get that and it will be the best £2.99 you ever spend. I promise it will help you so much. So definitely go get the Happy Cow app. The third point is to get Google Translate. 
Now, <laughs> in Japan, they have a completely different alphabet, and it's all it's all um, very different, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so, getting the Google Translate app has helped me so much when it comes to reading ingredients. They have this option where you can literally um, pick a setting. Uh, you go Japanese to English and you click on a little camera on the screen and then you can take a photo of the ingredients and then it tells you what it says which is so so useful so definitely get the Google Translate app it has saved my life so much um, and leading on from that um, which is kind of counter argument but not really um, Look out for things that are kind of vague um, when looking at ingredients and I think this is why it's so important to do your research. Like there's so many blogs and uh, things like that where you can find lists of vegan food. Because the thing about um, ingredients in Japan is that sometimes it's quite vague, um, especially on things like bread, mochi, rice balls, like whatever, like it's just fake okay so definitely um do your research and if it is vegan uh vegan <laughs> if it is fake just maybe don't go for it or just look it up online first because um what i found ha um is actually a lot of things that are vague um that i thought was vegan are really not <laughs> they usually put stuff like fish and egg and just animal products in it, so it's um, it's definitely important to be careful. Um, leading from that, look out for dashi in um, in products because dashi usually is made from fish broth. Sometimes it's not, but um, a lot of the time it is, and that's what I mean about it being vague. Like it's not, it does not say made from fish. It just says dashi. It's like Okay, so what's a dashi made out of? It, it doesn't, it's not very clear sometimes. So look out for stuff like that because it's very easy to get it wrong. I got it wrong for like the first two months. Um, I was buying these rice balls from Family Mart that were like seaweed flavor and I was so sure they were vegan. Like I thought I saw it online. Maybe I didn't, um, but I thought, I, I was so sure that they were vegan. Turns out, they had fish in them so I had been eating fish for like the last two months and it was horrible to find that out so be very careful um okay so my next point is I've, I've got some notes um because I don't want to miss anything out um oh yeah speaking as of places like family mart um convenience stores are everywhere and they are so useful so um there's quite a few. There's Family Mart, 7-Eleven, Lawson's, um, Lawson's, what is it called? Lawson's Natural or Lawson's, Lawson's, Lawson's something that has a lot more like vegan options. Lawson's Organic? I think it's Lawson's Natural, but I might be wrong. But when you go to Japan, you are going to see a load of convenience stores. And these places are great because you can um, go and buy loads of snacks, they're full of vegan food, which there's loads of lists. I'm going to actually uh, link the list that I use for a lot of my vegan food, um, like snacks and stuff, because it's so useful. Um, so I'll link that below. Um, so basically you can get snacks and you can get coffee and they often have uh, things like microwaves and um, kettles and even tables. And bathrooms so you can you can go and eat in there and chill out they also have ATMs which is also a very useful thing because in Japan they are quite um, hard to find ATMs so yeah if you go to a convenience store you're you're probably going to find an ATM as well so just keep that in mind um, that leads me on to my next point which is to carry a rubbish bag around with you, whether that's a plastic bag. Um, in a lot of convenience stores, they do have bins. Um, 
However, it's kind of bad etiquette to just throw your rubbish away in a shop if you haven't used, if you haven't bought something from there, like if you haven't, if you're throwing away something that is completely irrelevant to that shop, it's quite rude. Um, so what I recommend is carrying around a bag, especially for your litter. Japan is a very clean place and you'll notice that as soon as you get there that there is hardly any rubbish. Even in places like Tokyo, um, you compare it to places um, like London for example. London's great but it's very dirty and um, Tokyo, although it's a huge city, it is very clean. Um, despite this, there is hardly any bins anywhere so be prepared to not find any bins. <laughs> um, or find them quite infrequently. So definitely carry around a rubbish bin because um, otherwise you're going to have to carry it around in whatever you're carrying and it's just it could just be dirty you know. So um, oh also you can find bins next to vending machines quite a lot. Vending machines are everywhere as well like they are just dotted all over the place even in the countryside so um, a lot of the time vending machines have drinks and snacks and you know just things like that so often there's a bin there so just keep that in mind as well um, my final point is to carry around a shopping bag oh wait no this is not my final point I forgot to write down my last point but carry around a shopping bag because um, Japan uh, there's a lot of plastic in Japan and there's a lot of plastic packaging and um, on top of that they will give you a plastic bag <laughs> whenever you go shopping um, so make sure you carry around like a canvas bag or just a you know just a bag to keep everything in otherwise you're gonna end up with loads and loads of plastic waste and it's just it's just not good you know it's just not good um, what else I'm gonna say yeah, about plastic packaging, just, um, you know, that's something just to be aware of when you come to Japan, there is a lot of plastic packaging. For example, I bought a packet of tea, um, it was quite a while back now, but it completely uh, blew my mind because you had the plastic outer layer, which was uh, kind of protecting the cardboard layer, you know, the cardboard layer of tea, right? Uh, tea packaging. So I took that off and then opened the cardboard packaging and then there was another kind of packaging which I assumed which would have like loads of loose tea bags in right. So I opened that packet and then every single tea bag was packeted individually. I could not believe it. I was, I was just like why? Why would you do that? So just keep that in mind. It's so unnecessary, but there is so much plastic waste in Japan. Um, yeah, so just, yeah. Also, make sure uh, there's usually like, in bins, there's usually uh, kind of two sections where it'll be like burnables and non-burnables. And it really annoys me when people put plastic in the burnables because obviously you should not be burning plastic. So when you go to Japan, make sure you always put the plastic packaging in the non-burnables. Um, just for my peace of mind, please do that. <laughs> uh, finally, my point, uh, my final point for you is to learn some basic phrases. And this is just across the board. This is whether you're vegan or whether you're not. Um, a really useful phrase is daijabu or daijabu des. If you put des on the end of something, it makes it more polite um, or mass. But uh, daijabu des is really useful. It means that's fine or no thank you or it's fine. So if someone tries to offer you a plastic bag, for example, and they like hold up a plastic bag, you can go daijabu des or daijabu des. That's a very common uh, sign that means no in Japan. Daijabu des uh, is what I usually say <laughs> when they try and offer me plastic bags. Um, another one is arigato gozaimasu and that means thank you very much um, and then yes is hi, no is ie so just 
just some really basic ones. My Japanese is not good, by the way, but I've been able to get by with like a few basic things and I'm I'm practicing and I'm learning. Thank you. Um, so just, you know, just learn some basic phrases because Japanese people are so nice and they really appreciate it when you just try to, you know, make a little bit of effort. Oh, another really useful one is sumimasen, which means excuse me or sorry, excuse me. And you can use this everywhere. I'd probably say sumimasen more than anything. <laughs> or um, thank you and excuse me are probably my most used phrases. Anyway, I hope that that helped. As I said before, if you have any questions, anything that I did not um, maybe say in this video, I'm sure I've probably missed something out. Um, if there's something that you are really wanting to know, even if you want to just chat veganism, like um, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I check my messages and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome time in Japan because it's so awesome here and you will have an awesome time. And uh, I think that's it. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye bye.